you can understand people looking at it and going, it's all a bit snouts in the trough, isn't it? It's all about Conservative... Uh, members of Parliament who were more than happy to back Boris Johnson when he thought when they thought he was going to get them to to win a seat, uh, and now they're just worried about their own jobs. They don't really care about anything else. They're just worried about keeping their own jobs. So get the PM out, which hardly seems fair. Well, I mean that, that's politics for you. I, mean, I think there is. You're absolutely right. There's a lot of self interest. Um, I mean, if you look at the the Tiverton result, there are two, 290 Tory MPs with lower majorities than one in Tiverton, and they can see that if Boris Johnson continues to lead them, they're likely to lose their seats and therefore their jobs. So yes, there's quite a bit of self interest going on here. Um, but in a sense, I don't blame MPs for that. It's been like that through history. What I can't understand is why people like Keir Starmer and others uh, in opposition, as it were, um, keep calling for him to resign. Because actually, isn't it in their interest, if they believe he is so bad at his job, isn't it in their interest for him to stay and make the Tories unelectable next election? Yes, that's certainly the counterfactual view. Um, but again, this is politics. And it, I think that Keir Starmer, um, his authority would be damaged a bit to be said, oh, well, Boris Johnson should stay. Uh, isn't he wonderful or whatever? No, I mean, I think that, that when you see a prime minister who's seriously wounded uh, and you are trying to be prime minister yourself, you really do have to go along and call for him to quit. Um, it would be interesting, though, as you say, that if there was a, a, a new leader of the Tory party, I mean, say it was Jeremy Hunt or Liz Truss um, or Tom Tugendhat, these are all people who are interested in the job. It may well be that will revitalise Tory fortunes, uh, and that would be to the detriment of Labour. When John Major took over from Margaret Thatcher, what it looked like was a new government, and as a result, he went on to win the next election.